Oh, it's a very prestigious award. I'm really honored, I mean, to be a recipient of this award. And you know, when you get recognition for the work or something like this, it's much more than myself. It's for the work, I think, and it's the, it's the, you know, the recognition is for the overall research area itself. You know, fire is generally not recognized as a key important parameter. Very often you have fires in a building at least one or two times during their lifetime. So when the fires happen in a building, either accidental or sometimes it's vandalism or whatever, we need to make sure that the building stand up and the people inside the building safely evacuate. So for certain length of time, two hours, three hours, four hours in some of this built infrastructure, if they can stand up, that will facilitate the safety of the firefighters as well as the people. So my research area at MSU as well as before is mostly focused on developing innovative systems to make sure these buildings and built infrastructure can withstand extreme events under fire conditions. That unique piece of uh, equipment is, we call it here, MSU Structural Fire Test Furnace. This is basically structural elements, like in a building you have, building is an assemblage of columns, beams, slabs, if you call it, or floors, walls. So any of these wall systems, when there is a fire in the building, each one of them need to satisfy certain requirements. They should have certain resistance. This is called fire resistance. So in that equipment, piece of equipment, you can take one of these walls or one of these columns or one of these beams and expose it to temperatures similar to what happens in fire as well as the loads. You know, in the building always you have loads. So both of them simultaneously and we are talking about temperatures of about 2000 degree Fahrenheit. That's what happens in, real, in fires. So, and see the performance. If a lot of these new materials, they have problems, so we can come out with innovative solutions. We can do on computer models, but we need to validate them against some real life materials and structures. So that's exactly what that furnace is doing. Two things are important, training the young, new coming generation with all these technologies to do these designs and also develop the new materials to be fire resistant materials. Unfortunately, newer the material, you take any of these plastics, you have plastic houses which are coming up, new types of wood, all these materials don't give same performance as conventional or masonry brick or forefather used to have. So that's the message is we need to work in this area. This area didn't receive too much attention, but uh, this is the time I think we need to improve this technology. So that's how these facilities will come in very handy.